What's going on YouTube? I wanted to make another video to talk about astral projection. Uh, specifically the fear that that's associated with it. I'm going to try to make this a short video compared to the other one I made. I wrote my thoughts down again uh, to help me articulate what it is that I'm actually trying to convey to you. I'm not used to public speaking or comfortable with it, so but I do feel that this experience should be shared, which is why I'm making this video, because it's something that most of us go through who experience sleep paralysis and have astral projection experiences. So the experience that I wanted to share with you guys pertains specifically to synchronicities and how important they are uh, when you have these my opinion you should really take note and pay attention because uh, it's some type some kind of communication now with what is open to speculation that's not what I really wanted to talk about fear is the important issue and it's what I wanted to address uh, people who are experiencing this are probably aware of how frightening these experiences can be all the pre-course precursor symptoms of astral projection and sleep paralysis. The strange audible noises that you hear, the physical sensations, body vibrations, exploding head syndrome, which is uh, really freaky if you haven't experienced that yet. Um, I've noticed with myself that every time I try to project, even when it happens naturally, the experiences are always different and unique, meaning that every time I have this experience, I literally have to overcome a new fear each and every single time it happens. I'm sure that this relates to almost everyone who experiences it, uh, which is why I made the video in the first place and wanted to talk about this synchronicity that happened to me a couple weeks ago. This synchronicity happened like a day after I had an experience with trying to project. I was close to projecting but the experience was short-lived because I uh, started to experience and encounter things that I hadn't gone through before so I got freaked out and the experience stopped. The morning after I was talking about the experience with my roommate and she was trying to explain or I was trying to explain uh, how important the subject and these experiences are because it is something that she has never experienced before at least not consciously so I'm sure to anyone who's had these types of experiences all the time, explaining its relevance to someone who doesn't have an interest in it, I'm pretty sure you can imagine how that type of conversation would go. So we have this long conversation about it in the living room, and I end the conversation talking about how meditation and learning to control and overcome your fear is so important for your spiritual growth within the context of relating it specifically to astral projection. So my last words that ended the conversation were exactly to overcome your fear. And after the conversation ended, she turned on the television and I kid you not, the very first words that were spoken was control your fear. The odds of that happening by chance are almost impossible. I mean, you could try it, you could try it out by thinking of a popular figure of speech like living the dream or just another day in paradise, for example, and turning on the television and seeing if the very first words that are spoken match your last thought. Uh you could try you could try that a million times over and that probably never happened. So the odds of it actually meaning something important uh, that is not random increase exponentially. To me when that happens it's 
direct communication with something. Of course, that something is open to speculation, but I don't feel it's evil because that would be ridiculously ironic given the context of the narrative. So, if anything, it's a helpful piece of advice. So basically, that's what I wanted to share. Overcoming the fear of this phenomenon, this thing, is probably one of the greatest challenges of the spiritual development process. I've often thought of the fear aspect of it that's associated with this as a sentry guarding, guarding the gate. And I've had synchronicities just like the one I described that have corroborated that thought. If we just overcome the fear of things that are unknown to us, I wonder what would happen. I could give you advice on how you could deal with some of these things, how I deal with some of it, but uh, honestly, it's something that you have to work out for yourself. It's definitely a discipline that demands patience, work. Uh, you check out my other video if you want some tips. I'll also leave some helpful uh, advice and links below in the description for anybody that's interested. That's basically what I wanted to share. So, thanks for watching. Take care.